know. magicians that you like, or are they sort Uri of like Geller. you like Uri Geller? Like. What is it you like about Uri Geller? I like him. Uh, yeah, when I was younger, I watched Paul Daniels. Did you um, like Paul Daniels? Yeah, it was quite good. Old oh, Debbie McGee back in the day. Yeah. Paul Daniels said magic must be baffling and entertaining. Mm -hmm. Lots of magicians are great at making it baffling. They they know the mechanics of the trick. They know what to do, what moves to do, but they forget about the audience. They just don't make it entertaining. And so, Darren Brown, do you like Darren Brown? Mm, or I not? do. You do. Yeah. What is it you like about him? Um, just the curiosity of how everything's done gets you thinking. Watch a few things on YouTube. So do you have like a favourite magician? Um, that might be in one calling now. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, if you think about magicians such as Ricky Jay, who can take a simple packet trick or a simple trick they brought in a joke shop and make it into a pig piece of theatre, that's what I love. And you also like Harry Potter. Oh, I love Harry Potter. I've never watched <laughs> Harry Potter or read the book, Shock Horror, so... I would say... I do like Penn and Teller to be fair. Right. I do. They, they they do break down stuff as well, and they're just the whole act is pretty polished to be fair. Yeah, I think because they've done it so many times. Yeah, in Las and, Vegas. and so many times together, uh, so many years together. It's um, yeah, it's there's amazing. a smoothness to it. Yeah. yeah, you haven't been to the theatre, or you haven't. Do you watch Magic on TV on Britain's Got Talent or anything like that? Yeah, that sort of thing. I've seen Magic is like Britain's Got Talent, that sort of magic as well. There's a guy on TV at the moment on on Netflix. I can't remember his name for the life of me, and I honestly, I had a look at it before I came here because I thought, do you know what, I'll, I'll make it sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. You know, I, I, was brought up, I, 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 I was brought up watching all these kind of things, and it was the masked magician that went through and deconstructed all of the illusions that was, you know, the, the, the groundbreaking wow factor, like how they get an elephant to disappear, but that masked mag magician was my all-time favourite. And you mentioned about Chris Ramsey as well, yes. so what is it like about his channels? A lot of his uh, card tricks that he does, sometimes then afterwards he'll talk about how the mechanics of it works and how the sleight of hand is and stuff like that. And he also, he brought out a video a little while ago where he slowed it right down so he could see, you could actually tell where the card was appearing from and how the trick was done. Mm -hmm. But when you speed it up to normal speed it seems seamless. And for me, I love watching those sort of tricks. But great sleight of hand and great moves, but boring. So if you take someone like Bill Malone, who can take it, like you say, yeah. a packet trick, and yeah. then just like make it really entertaining yeah. and thread, put multiple layers on it, so he's interacting with the audience, yeah. going back into story. The telling. trick is almost secondary to the story. Yeah, to, it's just to, one of the threads yeah. almost. Yeah. It's not the main thing. It doesn't all rest yeah. on it. And great magicians like uh, Michael Amar and, and Daryl and Ricky Jay, when, when they, those guys were, were, were still around, and Bill Malone, that's the kind of stuff I like. Yeah. Do you like David Godfield? Yes. He's a good looking a man. Very, very <laughs> an absolute beautiful man. Beautiful specimen of he a is. magician. He, he is an Adonis, an Adonis. Of, of, of beautiful men. Don't mind whether it's um, David Copperfield kind of cutting a woman in half stuff. I love that. And Just as long as it's done well. I want it done well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll be notified of our latest videos.